Wow. What are you guys looking at? Your house is huge. So the rumors are true then. You're rich. And it always has to be the mean ones. <sighs> Nightlight. Uh, right. Well, if you guys are done, we've got work to do. Come on. Hey, Mom. Brought some friends over to do work. So, um, leave us be. Oh, hi, sweetie and plum... Sweet? Well, now, who are you, lovely ponies? Oh, um, hello, miss. Uh, my name's Nightlight. Uh, I'm a... Kind of a friend of Rainbow's? Uh, yeah, uh, same. I'm lightning speed. Alright, kind of friends of Rainbow. And who are you, dear? <laughs> Hi, Miss Lilac. You probably don't remember me, but, um, I'm Star Swirl. <gasps> Star Swirl? Oh, the last time I saw you, you were this tall. Rainbow, darling, you didn't tell me you were friends with Star again. How's your mother, dear? Oh, um... Mom, shut up! Uh, Star's mother is no longer with us, Miss Lilac. Oh, darling, I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. No, it's fine, it's been a while. Um, me and my dad and sister are coping. Mama, why don't you just go to the kitchen and make us something? Alright, duty calls. It's lovely to see you again, Star, and you two boys. I'm so sorry about that star. She's such a loud mouth. Honestly, it's okay. Let's just get on with our work, right? Look at how big this living room is, dude. This room alone is bigger than my own house. Yeah, well, my mom's new boyfriend is pretty rich, so it's thanks to him, I guess. Still not calling in my stepdad, though. <laughs> Good to know. Rainbow Flash should have house parties here. Yeah, and then trash the place? You always overthink things, man. Just try and lighten up a little. <sighs> yeah, well, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Or some pony else. Stop. Sorry, your majesty. You were too busy texting the whole time we walked here. I was texting sweetie about what I'd be wearing to the party this Saturday. Wow, important stuff. Come on. Wait, this is your house? This mansion? Uh, yeah. What? How come I had no idea you were rich? Uh, well, I don't really talk to ponies and no ponies come to my house before, so... Oh my god, I could only dream of living in a place like this. Yeah, I'm grateful for it, but it's all because of my mom. She's kind of a royalty. What? Come on, she'll be dying to meet you. She's never seen a friend of mine before. Still wouldn't say we're friends, but okay. <gasps> wow, what's that? <gasps> wow. Hey mom, I'm home. <gasps> Sweetie, you're back. And is this your little friend? A project partner. Mom, this is Helia. Uh, nice to meet you, miss. Oh, please, no formalities while you're in my house. Just call me Sky, darling. Oh, well, it's lovely to meet you, Sky. It's so lovely to finally meet a friend of Scar's. Such a pretty one as well. Mom. <laughs> Thank you. So is this a new girlfriend or what? Ugh, shut up, Sweet Song. Uh, hi, and, um, no. Sweet Song, stop embarrassing your brother. As if I ever embarrass him, it's usually the other way round. He has, like, no friends, does he, Helia? Uh, well, that's not for me to say. At least I'm not an annoying brat like you. Ignore him, Helia. It's lovely to meet you. My name's Sweet Song. I'm Scar's younger sister, so I guess I'll be joining your school next year when I'm old enough, so we can hang out then like loads. I'm sure you'll enjoy the school. 
I love your wings, they're beautiful. Thanks, I'm actually really rare. I'm a glimmer wing pony, so... No pony wants to hear your origin story. Ah, uh, Raven, take your friend upstairs so you can study. Sweet song, leave him be. Oh. Wait, are those baby sea ponies? Uh, come on, Helia, we have a lot of work to do. Okay, but, um, nice to meet you. You too, Helia. She was cool. Way too cool to be hanging out with Scar. Ah, oh, sweet. Be nice to your brother. You know he has a hard time making friends. Hello, baby. Uh -huh. Okay, so welcome to my room, and yes, it's the attic. Um, Scar, I have a, a lot of questions about your... Family? Yeah, I'm really confused. How do I put this? Um, you're wondering how my mom is a hippogriff, my two baby sisters are sea ponies, and my annoying little sister is a glimmer wing pony. Yeah, and you're a unicorn. How is your family all different creatures, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm adopted, and so are my little sisters. Oh, right. So you and all your siblings were taken in by your mom? Yeah, she adopted us all when we are at a young age, and well, to be honest, hippogriff or not, she's my mom, and I do love her. Yeah, she seems so lovely. Yeah, my family's a bit full on, sorry about that, they never know when to shut up. But, I love my mom, and, well, you know when I said she's royalty, my grandma is Queen Novo. Queen of the hippogriffs? Your grandma is the queen? Yeah, I suppose that makes me like a prince. I don't know. Whoa. And no pony knows about this? No pony asks. And why would they? Not exactly popular. Hey, down there, your mom called you Raven. Is that like your second name or something? No, uh, Raven's my real name. It was ever since I started high school, they came up with the nickname Scar because of how I looked. And well... I just sort of adopted that name. It sounds cooler than Raven anyway, so... Both names are nice, but I never knew it started as something to make fun of you for. Your best mate, Sweetie, was the one who started that nickname. What? Really? But she seems so nice. I couldn't imagine her doing something like that. Wow. I know you're the new girl, but you've got a lot to learn. Okay, look, maybe Sweetie was mean to you, but... Maybe she's turned a new leaf. She's never acted that way with me. So just because you weren't bullied, that means she's nice? No, I'm not saying that. It's just... Come to the party. What? The party at Sweetie's house this Saturday. Every pony's invited, even uncool ponies. Wow, thanks for identifying me as an uncool pony. But nah, parties are lame. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. You can meet the new Sweetie, and we can hang out because I feel like I've seen a new side to you. At first I thought you were a bit of a jerk, but I don't know. Maybe we could be friends? You want to be friends with me? Of course. Why not? Okay, Helia. You're my first ever friend. <laughs> so we can work in this room. I left my laptop in here. <gasps> what are you doing in my room on my laptop? <laughs> So you've chosen death. That's fine with me. No! Get out! Rainbow, this is your bedroom? It's massive. And you've got a foot spa. Hmm? Oh, no, this isn't my bedroom. It's, um, well, it's my room, but, uh, I guess you could call it my wardrobe? Wardrobe? So this isn't your bedroom? No, this was a room for me and my friends, well, back then, Sweetie and Plum Sweet, to just come here, chill out, try in a few outfits, have a spa day, without those two little devils you just saw. My little sisters. Oh gosh, did they make that mess? Uh, oh, no, that was me. I'll send someone up to clean it up later. Man, I wish it was rich. Tell me about it. I know it looks all glamorous, but this is to make up for the fact I basically don't have a mother. She's too busy with her boyfriend to give affection to her children, so instead, she gives money. And to be honest, most of the time, I'd much rather a mom. Well, my mom can be a bit of a pain, to be honest. My mom's pretty sick. Good for you, because my mom's practically a ghost. Anyways, I wonder what my sisters were doing on my laptop. Those freaks. Uh, Star? 
I love this room so much. <laughs> I knew you would. That's why I invited you over to hang out. Preferably without boys. What? Don't look at me. I didn't even want to be here. <laughs> Lol. Face it. You're glad I'm here. Woohoo. Jumping for joy. So, we're on the topic of betrayal. Maybe we could talk about something we ourselves have experienced? Have you ever felt betrayed? Not really. I mean, my little sister's annoying, but she doesn't exactly betray me. What about you? You've got that brother of yours. Oh, shut up. Lightning speed isn't that bad. He's just overprotective. He's a good brother, really. Yeah, who makes you not hang out with him at school. <sighs> shut up. Anyways... The only time I've ever felt betrayed by a family member is my dad. Oh, um, I'm sorry. No, it happened ages ago. He basically just left me, my brother, and my mom to fend for ourselves. And I haven't heard from him since. Well, if it helps, I've never even had a dad. My mom's pretty independent and she doesn't need a man. <laughs> I like your mom's way of thinking. Helia, um... I know you say we're friends and all, but are you sure you want me to be at this party? Seeing as you're the new popular girl, I think I'd cramp your style. I'm not popular at all. I'm just friends with Sweetie, like you'll be. So come and hang out. All right, if the popular girl says so. Shut up, I'm not popular. Oh yeah, well, I see all those guys looking at you. You may not notice it, but I do. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. You know Soren? Ugh, unfortunately. I've never even spoken to the guy, right? Well, he took me aside today and asked if he could go to the party with me. Oh, as a couple? I think. Did you say yes? I told him I'd think about it, but maybe I should, you know? I've started a new school, made new friends. Maybe I should get myself a boyfriend. Okay, if you really want a boyfriend, but I wouldn't choose Soren of all people. Oh, uh, why? He seems fine. Besides, all that rainbow stuff, Sweetie said it was all a lie. And you believed her? Uh, yes. Even though I know you have a problem with her, she's my friend, so I believe her. Yeah, well, I wouldn't trust Soren either if I were you. He's basically the definition of a cheat. Are you just jealous of me, Scar? Because all my friends, all the ponies I hang out with, you just put down. You say they're not good enough? Am I not good enough? Why do you have to look down at every pony? I'm not looking down at anyone. I'm just observating. And if you're really my friend, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, but it means you don't have to be a jerk either. Helia, I'm not trying to be a jerk, okay? I'm just trying to be reasonable with you. Ugh, whatever. I've had enough of you today. I've had enough of you full stop. I'm sick of you just being so rude. Wait, Helia, what about the project? I don't care. Why do I have such a loud mouth? Wow, two hours working straight. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Getting to that A. Ugh, Lightning, will you please get your head out of the foot spa and help? No, too much work. My brain hurts. Aw, Nightlight, don't be so harsh. You can't expect someone like Lightning Speed to be able to think for too long. Ugh, Lightning, I swear you never do work. Yeah, well, I still pass my classes. Barely! Mm -hmm. Ugh, I got a notification. Me too. Me three. Ugh, it's an invite. To Sweetie's party on Saturday? Well, we've never been invited to a party before. Why now? Did you get invited, Rainbow? Yep. Weird. That girl is definitely planning something, and it's not going to be good. Yeah, well, it's not like we were going to go anyway. We hate parties. Yeah, we hate, um, parties. Although, I, I kind of really want to go. What? Lightning speed? We've never been to a house party. Yeah, because we're the loser club. But now, because we got Rainbow in our group, we can be considered cool and actually go to house parties like normal ponies. Aw, you think I'm cool, lightning speed? Uh, the, the school does, not me. I'm not a sheep. Yeah, but even though we're invited, Sweetie's definitely got a trick up her sleeve. But if we're the only ponies that don't turn up, you'll stay losers. I'll become a loser. But are you sure that this isn't what she wants for you to go to the house party? No, I know Sweetie. This is a dare. She wants to see if I'll be able to go to the party or if I'm a coward. 
and I'm not a coward. Uh, okay. We'll have fun, cause I'm not going. This involves all of us now. You're my friends, and well, you can't stay losers the rest of your life, right? Yeah, I'm with Rainbow. I really want to go to a house party. But we don't even know what house parties are like. We could show up as losers and leave as bigger losers. I must admit, Nightlight's got a point. We've never been to a house party. We don't even know how to dress or act. Well, I do silly, and I'm a very good teacher. 